BCW just sent me some short boxes to review. So I'm gonna do that right now and it's coming up. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Brown with Man's Comics, helping to amplify your comic book collection through integrity and community. We do a lot of comic and pop culture related content on this channel. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So as I said, BCW was nice enough to send me some short boxes. Previously, I've done reviews for the BCW comic book store folio, as well as the BCW comic storage bin. So if you haven't, you wanna check those out. I'll put links to those in the description, as well as a card up here on the video right now. But Comic book storage. Everyone has different tastes. Everyone likes different things. But one of those most common pieces of comic book storage is the short box. Now, BCW does have the normal basic white short box that everyone's used to seeing. Uh, holds about 150, they say 150 to 175 comics. So everyone that's aware of short boxes. Some people like long boxes, but most of the, all the boxes that we're going to be reviewing in this video are actually the short boxes. I like short boxes just because it's easier to move around. You start getting to long boxes, they get heavier and they become more of a hassle to move to and fro, get into, get out of, whichever. But short boxes, this is your basic short box. This is the BCW short box. It's available on their site. I will put a link in the description of this video as well for where you can find all these boxes. But this is their basic one, the white one. So as you can see, your basic short box, just the top comes off, and that's just a little They're real easy to put together. When they when they actually send them to you, this is one of the graphic ones right here. But when they send them to you, they come folded up, and you just have to assemble them. It takes two minutes. It's even got instructions on how to assemble it on the bottom of one of the boxes. So we could just do that real quick. First, got the little top piece. You just fold these in to the side. Fold the little lips in, and then this comes right on over here, and then it folds in like so. And then you do the same to the other end, and then there's the top. As this one is the purple one, it says geek. And then, of course, the main box itself you kind of just spread it out. This one is you take the piece that has the directions in on it, you fold it all the way inside, push it down. And then take the ones that have these lips, fold the lips inside, fold it down, and then basically you reach through the bottom, pull these little lips up, and then the first piece you put in folds down over top. Easy peasy. Probably a little bit loud, sorry about that. But as you can see, it took no time at all to assemble it. There's the assembled box for you, as you can see inside. Holds roughly 150 to 175. I'd lean more on the conservative side. Uh, sometimes the flaps, they stick into the little grooves there. But if you have problems with it, don't hesitate to use a little tape. They stick fairly well, but every now and then I like to use a little tape to secure it better. And it just goes on like so. As you can see, this is the purple one that says Geek. But they got a bunch of different designs on there for all types of tastes. They got, I'll show you some. Now it is important to know, they don't always keep the same designs on the site and they don't reprint a lot of the designs that are there. So once they're gone, they're probably gone forever. So make sure you continue to check their site for new designs as they come and go. Now I just showed you the purple one, but they also have the Geek box in green. The opposite the top all around, the, all along the sides, front, back, top, all it says Geek. All the boxes are the same dimension, the same size. So it's just at this point, what kind of design do you want? These are all the $11.99 boxes that I'm showing you right now. And just like their store folio, they got a comic book short box that has all the little comic panels. It says POW. And then of course, word bubbles. You can write your own little sayings in the word bubbles if you want. And of course, it even has where you can list what's in the box. Brad Pitt could have used that. But either way, and then they have one that's kind of like a street graffiti one. It's pretty cool. Has a bunch of sayings on the side. It says the weed, the weed of crime roars 
chimichangas. And then it says on this side, it says, why so serious? Kilroy was here. And of course, the top on this one just kind of boring. Cement style. But that one's pretty cool as well. Then the next one they have is kind of like a, what they call the CPU look. So it looks kind of like a little gaming computer. It's got a little bunch of graphics on the side. Got a little light, power light. And of course, the top. So all the different types of designs, so, so no matter what style you like. I like these also if you don't want to get those plastic storage bins or you don't like the look of the regular white short box originally showed you. These come in handy because they kind of let you add your own style, your own taste, and it softens up the look of the room where someone doesn't come into your room if they're out in the open and they just see this typical white short boxes. These are a little bit, add a little bit flair to your collection. Now we're going to get into the more comic book design ones. Most of these are about $13.99 on BCW site. And again, the link to that will be in the description of this video. Starting with, they got a Valiant box. So if you're a fan of Valiant, they got a little graphic box like this for you. If you're a fan of Joker, they got a little Joker box. It says, ha ha ha, all along the sides, front and back. And then of course the top is just a little purple green diamond shaped. And if you're a fan of Boom Studios or a Power Ranger fan, we've been talking a lot about Power Rangers on this channel lately. Boom Studios has a box as well. Of course, it has all the little like Goni Montez type foil covers. They have a box for it. It's got all the little Power Rangers and their helmets. Of course, we got another Boom box here. This is the Met Cadet U box. This series has been recently optioned. So if you're a Met Cadet U fan, you can get a box for that as well. And if you're a fan of Dynamite or a fan of Vampirella or you're a fan of Jenny Friesen, they do have the Jimmy Friesen Vampirella short box. So you get graphics on all the sides. And again, these are all up on the site, uh, bcwsupplies.com. Again, the link will be in the description. These are up there right now. I believe these are $13.99 as well. The only ones that were a little bit more that I saw were these Walking Dead boxes I'm about to show you. So this one is the Walking Dead that says the Saviors on it. Of course, the comic book graphics on the side as well, sides and front. That's so making all types of noise moving these boxes around. So they're all great. Love the detail on these boxes. There's one other Walking Dead box I wanted to show you. Then there's this one. This is called the Compendium box. So it has the Walking Dead graphic again on the top and then on all the sides. These, like I said, both of these were up there. This one and the Saviors box I just showed you were on the site for $15.99. The price has to do with the cost of the license for BCW to print the boxes, of course. So you check that out. So if you're a big fan of Walking Dead or you have a lot of Walking Dead comics and nowhere to store them, definitely check out these Walking Dead short boxes. And if you're looking for a gift to buy a comic book collector, these boxes might come in handy as well. So there's the boxes BCW sent me. Artwork on those are absolutely amazing. Also, if you don't like the comic book art, you can get some of the other designs. They got the geek one. They got the normal comic book panel one. The Joker one that just says, ha, ha, ha. I kind of think that one's pretty cool. But no matter what your comic taste is, they pretty much have a graphic box up there for you. Make sure you check out their website. And let me know in the comments if you already have one of these. Which ones do you guys have? There's a bunch of them out there. There's a bunch that have come before that. Like I said, they don't keep the same print boxes up on the site as they sell out. They move on to different designs. But make sure you check out that website constantly to see what new designs are being put up there. Also, let me know in the comments, do you plan to get one of these? If not, what kind of comic book storage are you using? Are you using the normal short box? Are you using the normal long box? Are you using the comic storage bin or some other type of storage? I also like to use a legal file cabinet for some of my comic book storage. But I really like these printed boxes, especially for ones for a bunch of comics that I have. So I can put all the Walking Dead books I have in one box. I can put all the Power Rangers books I have in one box. That makes it really special, kind of tuck it away in your collection. But either way, thanks again to BCW for sending me those boxes. This is Brian with Superman's Comics, and I'll see you guys in the next video.